The question is, are all of those features worth $20 a month or whatever it is? Right now for me, I wouldn't say so, unless there was a specific use case where maybe you just didn't like typing and so you wanna use AI for your emails all the time. Maybe that would be a good reason for you to choose to use Gemini for your users or some of your users. Do I think it's an absolute slam dunk must have for everyone now and you should roll it out to all of your employees? No, not necessarily. I don't think it's there yet. I am right now kind of like wait and see. Let's see how the next couple of months rollouts of tasks go and let's see what happens. Am I using Gemini in Workspace yet under the ultra slash advanced version? So Google give you the ability to use what was called Bard and was translated to a product called Duet inside of Google Workspace, but has since gone through a rebrand and is now just Gemini across the board within your Google Workspace ecosystem. Now, I'm paying for a license. Of course, I've got to test it. And I've got to say it's okay. I'm not fully impressed just yet. Google's made a lot of promises about what you will be able to do with Gemini inside of Workspace, and they haven't yet delivered on all of those by releasing all of the products. We're still waiting on a couple of those to be released. And the challenge with that is that we're kind of waiting on promises for Google to come to fruition. And sometimes they've had a good track record with that. Other times, not so much. So there are some cool things that you can do. If you're writing an email or responding to an email, you can use Gemini to read your email or read the email that someone sent to you. And then you can respond to that email automatically using Duet. Sorry, Gemini. I'm gonna say Duet sometimes, just you'll have to deal with that. You can, if you're starting a slide presentation, ask for Duet to create some background pictures or create template images for you. And they will be AI generated images that you can then insert into the document. That feature is also working now. If you're in a Google Meet and you wanna have a nice pretty background for your meeting, you can choose to have an automatically generated meeting background inserted into your meeting. Now, the question is, are all of those features worth $20 a month or whatever it is? Right now for me, I wouldn't say so, unless there was a specific use case where maybe you just didn't like typing and so you wanna use AI for your emails all the time. Maybe that would be a good reason for you to choose to use Gemini for your users or some of your users. Do I think it's an absolute slam dunk must have for everyone now and you should roll it out to all of your employees? No, not necessarily. I don't think it's there yet. I am right now kind of like wait and see. Let's see how the next couple of months rollouts of tasks go and let's see what happens. The challenge with Google is they've right now released Gemini to the public for free, right? And so if you receive an email from someone and you wanna formulate a response using Google's AI tools, well, it's not that hard to just cut and paste that email into Gemini, get the response, and then cut and paste it back into your Gmail inbox. Yes, you don't get all of the context of a full email thread, perhaps, unless you, you know, click through and, and uncover that whole email thread before you paste it in Gemini. But you're gonna be able to pretty much get the job done and use the free version of that for it. In some cases, using Gemini is just really not as great for questions or tasks as I've found with ChatGPT. And of course, I've got a paid plan for GPT. I've been using that for the times when Gemini just doesn't really nail questions for me. And unfortunately, there's been a number of times where I've just not really been impressed with the response I've got from Gemini. I've had to go over to GPT, and quite often it's nailed it on the first go. So I think at the end of the day, don't underestimate Google. You know, they're, yes, playing catch up. They were a little bit behind the ball as they are sometimes. They're a larger organization and they can't move as fast with some of these new product releases. But expect that the tools will get better from Google over time and we're gonna keep you updated on the channel here on what our thoughts are. I have a video, it's not yet recorded, on all of my thoughts on what was Bard and is now Gemini. That'll come up to the channel sometime soon, so look out for that one. If you liked this video, we've got plenty more on the channel covering this topic and much, much more.